screen and the tickets are now available. If you haven't got your tickets, I want to make sure we talked about last week um, when Patrick was the guest. Thank you for host, guest hosting Patrick. Uh, that tickets are now available for Deadpool and Wolverine. I got mine like half an hour after they went on sale. My row was sold out that I normally go to. So it was just wild to me that they're going that fast. Um, and I, you know, they did say, you know, this is one of the fastest selling R rated films of all time, at least on like internet, um, you know, uh, ticket purchasing websites. Uh, and then if you get them in some places, uh, like through Fandango, you can actually get the best friends necklaces, right? The the Deadpool and Wolverine necklace that was in that promo mm. poster. Uh, so they're, they're selling some of those, so they're giving some of those away. But um, one of the things about this, Mike, is in, in – I've linked these here. There's two cross promotions with it. One is an in-cinema ad to turn off your phones. And uh, this is by far one of the funniest things I've ever – I've seen for for turn off your phones. I hate the really cheesy ones where they're like, you know, uh, was it like it's ringing and someone turns around and says what's going on? But this one was actually entertaining because Deadpool's known for breaking the fourth wall. Wolverine is in here with Hugh Jackman, you know, telling them to um, shut off your excuse on uh, fucking phones, uh, but bleeping it out. And uh, they even what they say we we know who's someone who's going to be in Secret Wars. Like they're even poking like the the bear a little bit for for leaks and spoilers Chris, you have you have no idea how excited i was to, to see this Good. i ranted on the show like months ago about how th- what we need to do is we need to make uh, uh put your phones away ad that's like not cheeky and like not cutesy or not just like clips from amazon prime tv shows which is the one that i remember seeing the most recently uh, I like, and it needs to run literally before the movie plays, like not before the big, like AMC, like, Oh, Coca-Cola ad, like yeah. literally before the opening, like crawl of the credits uh, they somebody needs to f- have fear struck in them yep. to put their phones away. So, uh, the best case scenario is that's what this is done. Like they use this just before the movie yeah. starts the roll. That would be amazing. Uh, I love how violent it is. Like it's yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, I understand it is for comedic effect, but you like, I believe that, uh, Logan would be in there trying to murder you if your phone yeah. was there. They even do like the, the ringing of the phone as well. Yeah. So like you, it's almost like they're, they're doing like a mock scenario of just yeah. like, Hey, yeah, is, this is annoying folks. Right. When your phone rings and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, um, I would go even a step further, Chris, I, cause it's not just the ringing anymore. It's people don't put their phones on ring anymore. I, I can't remember the last time I heard a phone. It's just when the giant screen flashlight is coming out in the corner of your eye and you can't. So I like, I need somebody to get nitty gritty in it. I want just like 30 seconds of just like, you're a bad person. If you're on your device at all, no glowing, stop distracting people. So, uh, but this is uh, off to a great start. Um, you know, if, uh, the popcorn buckets went viral, maybe we can kind of get this going viral and then every movie will be making their own. That'll be like a new law. Let's have Congress pass a new law that if you're going to have a movie in theaters, it needs to start with a custom created, uh, put your phone Uh, away. I don't don't, want to do that. (laughs) I I think you give to, you make people do it. You're going to get, you know, you're going to diminishing returns, right? People aren't going to make fun ones anymore, but I, I enjoy this, and this is one I could see them using for a few years, even right. Like I, I don't mind this running for several years, um, but the the luxury of Deadpool breaking the third wall, the the luxury of it being an R rated film, and they 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 bleep out the words but don't cover his mouth, so you can see what he's saying the whole time. And I'm like, oh, this is <laughs> great. Like he's just he's just very angry, and he's wearing that, and you know it it is fun. It it shouldn't be it, it things should be fun in the cinema. I'm glad this is fun. But it's like the perfect storm of everything with them. Uh, yeah, along the way. I'm clicking. I'm clicking around uh, my local theaters um, show times for the Thursday, the 25th, and yeah, yeah. they're they're starting to sell. And this is a movie that's two months away. So mm-hmm. maybe maybe this, Chris, like you were saying, maybe this kind of changes the headlines in the entertainment section of the newspaper. Yeah. Um, if the newspaper is, <laughs> still exists in two months right. of like, hey, uh, the box office is back. Movies are back. And it yeah. kind of maybe will change the tone. Well, I, I think it'll Hollywood. be it'll be it won't be movies are back. I, I think we they did that with Dune already this year. We've already had that 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 title. And I think it's more of like the event film. You know, Marvel is is back. You know, Disney has turned themselves around with this one. Um, even even though that may not be true by the time we watch the next movie, but it's going to kind of lean into like 
event filmmaking is has returned right uh to to get them back in there so uh i i'm 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 excited for that and then the other cross promotion that was really funny is that um this is the first marvel movie with a beer tie-in and it's for heineken and um the only thing i ever remember heineken was like when they did austin powers back in like the late 90s early 2000s so it's uh funnier to have deadpool and wolverine wolverine can't get his claws out to attack Deadpool, because Deadpool uh, stole the adamantium to make him some silver bullet Heinekens. So uh, this is this is just funny. Like you know, if they're gonna cut promos, Ryan Reynolds, we always talk about being a marketing genius, right? Doing that stuff, they're gonna throw everything they can, and he's gonna he's gonna make it fun, right? I, I'm not gonna go drink Heineken. This isn't convincing me to drink a Heineken by any means, Mike. But <laughs> I will remember the name Heineken beer kind of going forward because of some of the funny stuff like this. Uh, is there anything you would want to see crossover with Deadpool outside of beer or, or movie promos that, that has not yet? That was my question for you today. On, well, the first thing the that comes to my mind is the most obvious one is some sort of like chimichanga Taco Bell crossover. But mm-hmm. I cannot I am feuding a one sided feud with Taco Bell right now. They go out of their way to change their app icon to a big cheese it. Because they're going to start putting the big cheese it in the crunch wrap, and I'm looking, and my so, local Taco Bell and the I'm other gonna, Taco Bell <laughs> ain't got it. I like, tell you, I you understand. Know why? That, Do you know why? why? Because it, when you open the app, it says drops on Tuesday. Is what it was. Uh, it, it drops like, tomorrow. I understand. Like, I understand the concept of yeah. pre-promoting something, but to go out of your way to make it so obvious, like literally, somebody opens up their phone, they're like, "Oh, I'm going to get some Taco Bell." They, oh my god, my whole app icon is now a cheese it. This yeah. is crazy, yeah. and then. To go, oh, now you have to wait until I mean, it's the Memorial Weekend. Like yeah, they, I feel like I could have put down some Taco Bell this week. Yeah, they, you know? yeah, when you open up and it says, uh, you know, new drops on Tuesday, and it's the cheese it thing. But I'm excited for the cheese as well. I, I I went yesterday, picked up lunch there because I wanted some nacho fries before they disappeared. So that's what, I, mean, I think Taco Bell would be a, a, a funny one. Um, I, I was trying to think what I would like to see them cross. If you know, you got you got a good point there with the food. Um, yeah, I. Everything I'm seeing right now is Twisted Teas. Mike, is, do we get a Twisted Tea crossover as well as Heineken over here with with these people? But um, I, I don't know. So I, I think this is fun. But you guys can check out all these trailers in the in the show notes. We link them all all the time uh, in, in the show notes. Moving on, but in the same vein, X-Men, Mike, uh, Deadline, I think it was Deadline, has said that uh, Marvel 